Uh, earlier this week, as I headed to this region, there was a headline in one of our publications back home that asked, Obama's Asian distraction, question mark. And the premise seemed to be that this region was somehow disconnected from pressing global events. I could not disagree more. This region is not a distraction from the world's central challenges, like terrorism. The Asia Pacific is absolutely critical to promoting security, prosperity, and human dignity around the world. Now, over the years, our friends here in Asia have been victims of terrorism, and many of them are close counterterrorism partners with us. So my time here has also been an opportunity to work with many of our partners in the Asia Pacific that are members of our coalition against ISIL. Australia, Canada, Japan, Malaysia, New Zealand, Singapore, South Korea, and Taiwan. Which brings me to the point I want to emphasize today. For more than a year, the United States has built and led a broad coalition against ISIL of some 65 nations. Given the frequent focus on America's leadership of this campaign, uh, sometimes the contributions of our partners are overlooked. In fact, since the G20, a number of our coalition members have stepped up with new commitments. So today I want to take a moment to recognize how our allies and partners help advance every element of our strategy. Nearly two dozen nations, among them Turkey and our Arab partners, contribute in some way to the military campaign, which has taken more than 8,000 strikes against ISIL so far. And as I've said, we're ready to welcome uh, or cooperate with other countries that are determined to truly fight ISIL as well. We will not accept the idea that terrorist assaults on restaurants and theaters and hotels are the new normal or that we are powerless to stop them. After all, that's precisely what terrorists like ISIL want because ultimately that's the only way that they can win. It's the nature of terrorism. They can't beat us on the battlefield, so they try to terrorize, terrorize us into being afraid, into changing our patterns of behavior, into panicking, into abandoning our allies and partners, into retreating from the world. And as President, I will not let that happen. In our diverse societies, everybody can do their part. And we will not give in to fear or start turning on each other or treating some people differently because of religion or race or background. That wouldn't just be a betrayal of our values, it would also feed ISIL's propaganda. Their assertion, which is absolutely false, that we must absolutely reject that we are somehow at war with an entire religion.